Yeah, and now something that is close to most parents' hearts, sharing a book with their young children. I love doing that. Mm -hmm. When it comes to unforgettable rhymes and illustrations that catch a child's eye and keep mom and dad entertained too, mm -hmm. no one does that better than Dr. Seuss. Now some of Theodora Gessel's seldom seen works of art, images you won't find on the pages of kids' books can be seen in an exhibition in Holland. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome to The Cat Under the Hat, The Secret Art of Dr. Seuss here at the Holland Museum. We are so fortunate to have this wonderful collection here almost oh, through tulip time this year. These are prints and other sculptures that were based on Dr. Seuss's original artwork. Dr. Seuss was really into, obviously, his art, but he never really thought of his books or his illustrations as his art. This is what he thought of as his art. And as you can see, it's very different than what his books are. His books were more primary colors. These are vibrant, bright colors, but they have that same whimsy and fun that that his illustrations did. There are prints and there are uh, sculptures as well. That was known as his unorthodox taxidermy. And this is one of the pieces. It's really cool. It's called the Sledge Tarpon. And Dr. Seuss's father was actually, he worked at a zoo. And so he would bring back um, deceased animals, show Dr. Seuss his pictures of these animals. And so these sculptures that we have are kind of Dr. Seuss's interpretation of what these animals would come back like when they were reincarnated. If you love Dr. Seuss's books, you'll really love this exhibit. These are, you know, kind of unusual creatures, but these are definitely still in the realm of Dr. Seuss. So he kind of explores a little bit more, um, kind of maybe darker things than he did in his books, but still kind of a lot of fun stuff. Another piece that I love and is a, a definitely a favorite of the collector who, these are his collection, is A Prayer for a Child. And this is a new piece that, that recently came out, um, and there's a poem that goes with it. But this kind of, I think, captures really what Dr. Seuss was all about and what he was trying to get from his artwork. If you get a chance, please come down to the museum. We have wonderful exhibits, and we have lots of really fun stuff in the gift shop, too. So come on down, see Dr. Seuss, and bring the whole family. Oh, you know, for a long, long time when my kids were little and I was reading them books, I swear I had every single Dr. Seuss book memorized, you which did. is easy to do. Because, because when I had my kids, you actually <laughs> recited one whole book practically. <laughs> I'm not From forgetting. memory <laughs> and acted it I was like, are you, you. kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's the great part. I know, I, I, maybe I, I, I get it. Steal Rachel's two-year-old. I think so. <laughs> and I think so. Go around reading some of those, but uh, you know the red and white stripes. Of course, just like the cat in the hat. That ex exhibition is just beautifully created. Right. And the Holland Museum did a great job with the exhibit of locally collected prints that uh, represent a segment of Geisel's work rarely, if ever, exhibited during his lifetime. You can see them from now through May 22nd in the museum's Focus Gallery. It's in downtown Holland, right on 10th Street. Plus, this Saturday there is a fun free. Seuss themed event for kids. It's from 10 to 11 a.m. and the theme is What in the World is a Wacket? <laughs> Children will hear a story, enjoy a snack, start their very own book, and create a Seussian character for the cover. Sounds like a super great, fun activity. A Wacket in your pocket. A Wacket in your pocket, exactly. Stick around, we've got a lot more 8 West straight ahead. Your all access pass to everything West Michigan. Thank you.